what do you what do you think of St. Mary's University, wow, guys? Man, I had the very, very grand. Look at this. From 2017 to 2021, I've had a wild university journey. Three years of studying economics, one in Sydney and two at the University of York in the UK, and now I'm doing a master's at drama school. Soon my university journey is about to end as I finish my master's, but before I make the transition of going from student vlogs Dylan to just Dylan and truly embarking on the mission of adulthood in a few months time, I've decided to take on the task of reviewing every university in the UK. So welcome back to episode 6 of the University Review Series. Today we are going to be taking a look at St Mary's University in London. I, I actually recently graduated from there, I was at campus, I went to the chapel, I got my, my master's degree. So I have experience on the campus and I'm going to be showing you an in-person tour, good, the bad about the university. We're also going to take a look at life in London as a student because it's quite hectic. And we're also going to be taking a look at the league tables which I couldn't believe it's ranking, I was genuinely shocked by it because when I went I was pleasantly surprised by it and then the stuff people are searching about the university on Google just as equally baffling so we're going to take a look at them. So the main campuses for St Mary's University is located in West London in and around Twickenham, Strawberry Hill, it was a lovely area and there's train stations right nearby to it so it's very well connected to central London which is always a plus thing because if you're going home or you're coming down it's good that it's easy to get to. Now St Mary's ranked 104th on the Guardian League tables down three places from 20 21 where it was 101st so it's really kind of you know it's one of the lowest ranked universities that I've reviewed on this channel um, it falls into the bottom half of rankings how much the rankings mean if they're like between 50th and 30th you know it's probably not too much of a difference but I think to be a hundredth versus you know top 30 there is probably going to be a bit of a difference and obviously just because it's ranked low by the Guardian it doesn't mean you shouldn't go there because you can still achieve great things you can still get a great degree and learn lots you know there's a lot more to the decision than just this ranking but 104 is not good so what is St Mary's University known for well it's known for being the oldest Roman Catholic University in the UK founded in about the 1850s which does kind of explain why my graduation service that you'll see very soon was in a chapel because I, I was actually graduating you know I'm Christian myself but I was in, I was graduating the ceremony did kind of feel like a church service now is St Mary's University religious well this was one of the most searchful things on Google and to be frank after digging around speaking to a few people it seems like the university's not really religious to the point where if you wasn't religious and you went there you'd be an outcast, of course not. I think it's more like, you know, the graduation was in a chapel, uh, the morals are focusing on positivity and bringing positivity to the world in general. But I mean, every uni kind of does that sort of thing. So, but let's roll the campus tour because I was, you know, I was, I was really surprised at how nice and everything at St Mary's was. Right, so this is one of the main campuses. We've got a lovely chapel. A lovely set of greenery around, the calf's there. And I went into the calf to collect my ID and my number for graduation. And I was pleasantly surprised by the quality of the food, the price of the food, and the range of options. And you know what? It was very good scran. I, I was impressed. Now, the reason why I'm filming myself in the bathroom is that the bathroom was lovely, brand new building. The lockers inside of the, the this building were free to use automatic whenever you wanted to. And I thought the whole inside of this place was really brand new wow. and nice. Some of these buildings are actually really, really nice. Like just walking around exploring, especially on a summer's day, there seems so much new equipment. There seems so much like nice nature and the campus is it's kind of popping, you know, like I'm actually really impressed. Obviously I'm probably in a new bit of the building. Like the historical side of it looks really nice, like small details, you know. It's really nice. But yeah, then I went off to go explore the campus some more because I had to go and get my graduation gown. Um, and I had a look at a few of the lecture theatres. As every lecture theatre is, they were standard. Uh, you can see all of the stuff here. We've got a centre for teaching, faculty of sport, lots of different things on this campus. Longer at the back. The shorter one is in Longer back, yes. Oh, I feel good in this. And then, <laughs> the joint, yeah. the yes. Thank you very much. I look like an egg. But this is inside the chapel where we had our actual graduation ceremony. Hey! And here's me, had a nice little chinwag with the guy. He's like, oh, you're celebrating, it must have been tough. And I was like, it was tough, mate. And he, yeah, shook his hand, got a photo. White socks and loafers. And I swear to you, this campus looks oh like God. Bridgerton. Like the, the buildings and the sunshine, the grass is super well maintained. <laughs> The the oh, crazy, and then I got hit on the head by a by by a hat. 
It, the hat hit me on the head. So graduation's done. We're now off to go and get a few refreshments. Like so very, it's kind of grand, you know. It's very, very grand. Look at this. But yeah, this was very, very grand. The chandeliers must be worth thousands. The food as well for graduation. Obviously, I paid for it, but it was good quality. Okay, so basically, so Mary's University, right? I haven't been here in so many years. This must be like sort of the one of the main centers of one of the campuses is split into two different bits. And I must say, on a very summer's day, this is probably one of the best campuses I've been to in a long time. It gives me good vibes, everything like that. Um, <laughs> there's a chapel up there, that's where we graduated. Uh, returning the stuff right now. But overall, as far as, far as like a campus exploration goes and greenery, I liked it a lot. So, so it's top marks for me. Wow. Guys, guys, what, what, do you, what do you think of St. Mary's University, guys? Oh wow, man, I had the best time ever, man. <laughs> oh, wow, this is so good. Oh, my God. The buildings were lovely. The sun was out. The campus and community felt nice. The food was really well priced. I was, I was incredibly impressed with because Nisa at York, they're not even in London, but they were charging us, you know, five quid for a bit of cheese. Ridiculous. Here, you get a full meal for four. And if, you know, if, if St. Mary's was a top ranking uni, like on the lead tables, then if I was to go back in time, I would definitely consider it. Now, for me, if you know me, I'm a London boy I, was, I grew up in South East London you know the outskirts but I was always kind of against going to university in London I was like I want to go up north I want to experience different things but like I looked at this union was like oh yeah it's nice the only thing that would stop me going would be the ranking but that's me personally but it does seem nice so now I want to roll some more of the facilities sort of campus tour and we're going to react to that so I've just pulled up the campus tour and I've highlighted the key bits which are so here's the library 24-hour computer rooms and study areas Lovely, that is always required at every university, so I'm glad they've got that sort of thing. Then one of the things I love about the university is that they've got the Sir Mo Farah Athletics track. Now this track is right by the campus, and like you can see the Bridgerton vibes again in all of the buildings around there, but I think it's so good when sports encouraged by a university, and having such facilities nearby is fantastic. So the most searched for things relating to St. Mary's University are very bizarre. Now the first one was, is St Mary's University an all-girls school? Now, I don't know how that, where that even comes from. Maybe there's a school called St Mary's that is an all-girls school, but it's a university. It's not an all-girls school. And the second thing, which is partially why I you know this is quite a shocking video, was is St Mary's University accredited? Yes, every university has to be accredited. So now the reason why I've highlighted this and it's all in black and white is because I made a silly mistake. I realized that the St Mary's University I was searching for on Google was not the one in Twickenham. So all of that search engine stuff I've just rambled on about, realistically, it's interesting, but ignore it. And I've left it in the video because I feel like many people might make the same mistake. So whenever you're searching for St. Mary's University, look for St. Mary's University Twickenham. And then the search results seem to be a lot more normal, a lot more like the York ones and et cetera, et cetera. But I thought, you know, I'd leave that mistake in there because it's funny and because, you know, other people might make the same mistake. So the people in the student population, it currently sits at about 5,520 students, which is absolutely tiny compared to the likes of Manchester, which have like 40K upwards but you know what personally having been to university and been part of a small collective in my masters I actually wouldn't mind having a small population like I feel like if you've got a small population on a nice little campus uh, you get to know a lot of people you see a lot more localized community events I, I do quite like the sounds of that so I feel like just because it's a small population relative to others it doesn't really matter having 40,000 people with the maximum people you can probably meet at uni now correct me if I'm wrong you can obviously meet probably a few thousand over your three years but to actually get to know and interact with and you know chill with you're looking at a hundred max 100 different people. So 40,000 or 5,000, I doubt you'd even know the difference other than the population around certain facilities, you know? Now, a bit about my master's and the way it was structured, that obviously comes from St. Mary's University. So I studied acting, professional acting, I got a master's in that. Basically, St. Mary's University validates and gives me my master's degree but I learn everything at an institution called Aura, which is in Clapham. So my degree is technically validated by St. Mary's, but you know, I did all of my work at Aura and so on. So although my degree is from, from St. Mary's, I'm technically not really part of that uh, campus or culture. And it was a very, you know, standard sort of degree. I had like a little bit of academic work, I had marked performances. I had the same, you know, processes of appeals and stuff. And as far as St. Mary's goes, their side of things, I never had any issues. Everything was sorted out fairly quickly. They gave me all the information I needed. So now next up, I wanna take a look at the life in London as a student. It's fantastic. The amount of networking opportunities you're easily accessible to. It's easier to go to interviews, to, to placements, or stuff like that, which is a massive pro. 
Now, nightlife, again, as we said in LSE, it's expensive if you're looking to go out and get drunk or you're looking to go out and have a night out. If you don't go to the student bar or the student areas, drinks, you know, you could pay six pounds a pint, nine pound a cocktail, which is, as a student, when you're already paying all that money, it's ridiculous. If you go to a Spoons, though, you're going to be saving a lot of money. Hopefully, there's a local Spoons to St. Mary's and hopefully they have like a, but like, but like if you've never been to London and you're looking to go there for uni, I would definitely recommend it because it's, it's an experience, you know, like the whole hustle and bustle of London, the whole culture is really different. And I imagine like a lot of international students love um, going to London and why wouldn't they? I love studying abroad in Sydney because there is such a different culture, such a nice vibe. And I feel like for a student, it's an experience that would help you grow, you know? It's expensive, the local corner shop's expensive, the local bakery is expensive, the bus is well connected, it's probably fairly reasonable, but be prepared to pay a lot but you're gonna meet some very cool people from all over the world, some very cool events you're gonna be easily accessible to. And I think as St. Mary's relating to the campus, it's not heavily city faced, it's not in the direct center, it's slightly to the side, so it works really well. But London is an amazing place, like no cap. But yeah, thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope this gives you a bit of an insight into the St. Mary's University in West London and life at a London University in general. So please do leave a like on this if it helped. It really does help me out. Subscribe, let me know what you think of St. Mary's and what university you want me to review next. I always try and make sure I do the ones that I have experience at. But yeah, stick around, six universities done. All up in my head, that's how I behave. Passing up the same, waking up the same. All up in my head, that's just how I behave. How I behave.